Russia has successfully completed the first test flight of the domestic superjet aircraft PD-8 model. The aircraft and engines performed flawlessly, and the entire task was executed perfectly without any issues. Congratulations to my colleague. Congratulations. The flight was fantastic, albeit stressful. We're pleased to announce our task is completely accomplished. Takeoff, landing, flight time, everything we have withstood, everything according to the task. The modes are all completed in full, the engines and the aircraft. There is no comment system. There are no comments for this polyout. Today we are really present with familiar events. This is the first flight of the aircraft replaced by the dry superjet, the compatriot and the power plant PD-8 of course ahead. Um, a large volume of flight certification tests, but so to speak, the start was given to the efforts of the thousands of staff and cooperatives that created this aircraft in total until 2030. We expect the delivery of 142 machines to the domestic airline. Of course, understanding that today in the civilian fleet, they are operated about 150 demand for such aircraft, of course, our airlines will have. and the delivery of these aircraft for 30 years will ensure the connectivity of our large country. Demand for air transportation, which is growing every year. As you know, this is about 6% annually, so I want to thank everyone again. All those who participated in the creation of this aircraft, but then there is a really large volume, including on those parameters that are related to flight safety from the economy of the aircraft, the achievement of those flight technical characteristics that were declared declared by the manufacturer. Therefore, I wish the Joint Construction Corporation of the United Engine Corporation and all cooperative enterprises success in the implementation of these outlined plans, which I am sure will certainly be implemented. Thank you. Today, I completed one flight with a dry superjet equipped with a domestic engine A8. The appearance of the Russian engine is a key milestone in the program of import substitution of aircraft. And today we are happy to note that the engines during the flight behaved normally. According to the report of the crew commander, the engines are no different from foreign engines. We expect them to be better and... I would like to emphasize that the import substitution program under full budget and First of all, the engine import substitution program is being implemented in the shortest possible time. I'd like to thank you. The test pilots would like to thank the teams of the Komsomolsky on the Amur-Ribinsk Zavod, to thank KB Saturn and Yakovlev, to congratulate everyone on this most important step in the project to develop the dry essence program. We wish all of us a speedy achievement of all the tasks set for the testers to receive the certificate as soon as possible, the Federal Air Transport Agency, and so that the aircraft, having lowered the budget, completely imported in the guise of Russian engines, will quickly enter our routes. The flight was great today. Somehow everything coincided. March 17th, a little frost, excellent weather. Sunny, everything went according to plan. Today, takeoff. A landing flight time were completed, which means that all modes were worked out during the flight, everything without comment. It's a little sad that the flight ended so quickly, they wanted to fly even more. Here. One feeling of the motors. Well, if we didn't say that this is a new motor, then we probably wouldn't have noticed the difference in general. According to the behavior of the plane, it means something different. Tactile, you can, yeah, you can say the sensation of sound. Well, practically the difference on this plane, specifically in this flight, yes, that is everything carefully. Attention was paid to the engines. Well, actually, today we will perform only one flight. It opens a large stage of new tests. Since today's flight was primarily about checking the engines, so our main task was simple. I mean, in the zone of test flights were performed. Various manipulations with the levers controlled by the engine produced braking accelerations, enabled receptions from registration, and included small shifters. Actually, landing approach. The task of the flight was one to lift new engines, new domestic engines on the aircraft, 
which were made specifically for the superjet. And in flight one, it was necessary to look at the dynamic five dynamic part. So my task was to help the commander. In what plan should I record the engine parameters? But watch that these parameters do not go beyond the limits. And in the event that the engines go beyond the limits or fail, help the commander call to perform the landing. But because today our software went well, and the weather was good, and the engine worked perfectly. That is, my task boiled down to just recording the parameters of the gate of joy. I'm glad to enter carefully. If this continues, then nothing prevents this movement. As soon as possible, it will receive a certificate and be installed on a superjet. Because this is actually one flight on a plane. And here, the highly infectious regimes will necessitate more rigorous work. But so far, nothing stands in the way of any obstacles. Yes, we didn't see any further. That is, the engine in the future will be checked for safety for the transportation of passengers in those modes that later. With a higher stock that is guaranteed to allow. I'm performing the task, the translation, we ensure reliability accordingly.